this is Bro on me. Welcome back to the channel. And we're back with another bracket fight. This time we're talking about animes. And as you see, from the start, we got Black Clover versus My Hero Academia. And at the beginning of the start of My Hero Academia, it showed so much promise. And it's still really good. But Black Clover, it didn't start off so hot, and then it caught fire. And now it's doing really good. It's very popular. And honestly, I like it more than I do My Hero at the moment. So I have to go Black Clover. And then we go to the two OGs. of the main shebangs the two shebangs and they peers now Dragon Ball Z it has so many iconic fights so many iconic arcs in the in that show that you gotta respect it doesn't matter if you like the show or if you hate it you have to respect that show same goes for Naruto it has so many amazing fights the storytelling the way it just you just get so indulged into the every episode and even the filler episodes explain everything to the point to where it needs to be explained hmm. on this one I think I would have to go Naruto because the Broccoli, Gaur fight, Zabuza, you know, like the first 20 episodes, that fight was amazing. You just, you can't go wrong with either one, but I gotta go Naruto. Bull Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and Death Note. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a big fan of Bull Metal Alchemist. Brotherhood, I think, yeah the highest rating on any anime ever and I'm still gonna pick Death Note over it because I feel like Death Note is one of the most superior animes ever like if you have never watched anime and you just start watching Death Note you will most likely start liking anime because it is that good that's my personal opinion if you don't like it like my great grandfather says, shove it up your ass. Ah. Samurai X and Attack on Titan. Never watched Samurai X. And I love Attack on Titan. The animation, everything about Attack on Titan. The characters. The plot. Just everything about it. The way that it ties stuff in from season one all the way into like the trailer of season four that's it's just ridiculous like their storytelling is amazing now we got naruto and black clover i love black clover to death like i said it's started off not too hot caught so much fire it, it just just caught fire and just took off but Asta is a wannabe Naruto so we gotta go Naruto Attack on Titan versus Death Note now this is something I never would want to have to pick between these two shows if I had to pick between the two and I had to watch one over and over and for like a whole month, it'd have to be Attack on Titan. The fights, the plot. It's just different. We've just never had anything like it. The way that they just... Any character has the chance of dying in every episode. The main characters, all of them, it doesn't matter who you are, you have the chance of dying. Same goes for Death Note, so you can't really say it doesn't, but Attack on Titan is just subpar.
above everything. <sighs> Naruto and Attack on Titan. I love both these shows. Naruto was the first anime I've ever watched in my entire life. I used to record Naruto on VHS tapes so I could rewatch them. This is such a hard choice. I really don't know which one to pick right here. This is. This is hard. This is so hard. I'm going with Naruto. Damn. I love Attack on Titan though. I really do. Jojo and Hunter x Hunter. Now, I have not finished either one of these shows, but I've watched the first two seasons of Jojo's and I've watched about 60 episodes of Hunter x Hunter. Maybe 70? Maybe? And I love both these shows. Like, they're honestly two different shows and you, it's it's so hard to compare both, either one of them to each other. If if, they, if JoJo's was going against any other show, I probably would give it to JoJo's, but it's it's against Hunter x Hunter and... The fucking kill was nasty. Gone's cold. And honestly, I just... I, the only I like season two of JoJo's the best. That's about it. The first season is okay, but Jotaro's the the season with the stands. That, that's where it's at. Fairy Tale and Seven Deadly Sins. I really don't like Fairy Tale. It, it's boring. It's your typical shonen. Yada yada yada. You do the same thing. Blah blah blah. Power of friendship. Suck my ass. Seven Deadly Sins. There's a lot of OP characters done right. Now there is a little bit of the... The show my ass shit and I, I, I'm not big on it. But I gotta pick that over Fairy Tale. And we're not. We're just gonna keep this one right here short and simple. I'm not a big fan of Bleach and haven't really got into it. Dragon Ball Super all day. All day. One Piece and One Punch Man. I've watched both seasons of One Punch Man. It's a really good show. You just can't take it as serious as you do One Piece. Like, yeah, you gotta get past the first couple hundred episodes of One Piece. I've only got about four or five hundred episodes under my belt, but you gotta respect One Piece. It's, it's still doing numbers, bro. You just can't do anything about it. It's still doing numbers. Hunter x Hunter, Seven Deadly Sins. Seven Deadly Sins has top tier characters. You know, Meliodas is OP done right. Bond is way above OP done, done right. Same with Escanor. But the plot of Hunter x Hunter, the way they do their fights, you just gotta respect. You really do. Super versus One Piece. Now I might get some get some hell for this one, but I I gotta pick Dragon Ball Super from what I've seen from One Piece so far. I'm picking Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, does One Piece have the chance, in my opinion, to be above Super but easily? Because you know Super has some below average animation in some episodes the tournament of power is probably the best part of the entire show they did goku black bad you know what i'm saying like the entire the part where the trunks came in he said he's not black like come on bro that that was a little, little sus but i still gotta pick super over one piece and then we go hunter x hunter and dragon ball super A lot of people love Hunter x Hunter. I'm one of them. 
I need to get, you know, more into the sub, because, you know, not everybody's a big dub, uh, blah, blah. I like both sub and dub, it's just, it just depends on the show. And I think I'm gonna have to finish Hunter x Hunter and sub, especially to get a better, a full around analysis of the show. But I'm gonna go Dragon Ball Super, even though I know that Super is honestly probably not the better show. And that Hunter x Hunter's plot is probably a hundred times better. And then we come to the final two. Naruto and Dragon Ball Soup. Now, if you don't know what I'm a pick, then why are you this far in the video? You shouldn't have even got this far. You, you, you need to go watch the other tier list where Naruto was number one in my, my top anime characters. Like, stop it. Dragon Ball Super is okay, the anime, but the anime, like I said, and not two seconds ago, the animation for it is below average in uh, fucking way too many episodes, especially for it to be so well known. And Naruto is just everything about the show is just so good. The character development for character, like all the characters, the the little tidbit characters in the bag, the main characters, the mediocre characters, like just everybody gets a little bit of screen time. Doesn't matter who you are. You're gonna get screen time. So, I'm going Naruto as the number one. So, there we have it. We got Naruto as the top shonen anime of this bracket. Now, if there was a different bracket, I possibly might have it in a different way. We might do that in a different video. But for this video, Naruto is the champ they are king on top and that is my opinion thank you for coming by this bro want me and y'all have a wonderful wonderful day subscribe to bmv entertainment subscribe to my twitch bro want me give me a like give me a subscribe we out this thing. Y'all take it easy.